All right, so we just got done with the ant's nest, but rather than continue on with the enchanted earth, the level itself, we're not ready for that, my friends. Trust me, we're not ready for that. We are gonna go down, and we're gonna go to this other level, Scarecrow Fields. Now, like I mentioned before, this level is quite a doozy, as you will see, but it is a neat level. Oh my, those scarecrows look so evil. Glowing eyes, jack-o'-lantern heads. Scarecrow fields. And y'all, the first time I ever got to this level, um, this actually was a level that held me back in the game quite a bit. I eventually got it, but it took me. It was quite difficult. You know, they are almost unstoppable, so... But, uh, you remember that little thing the witch gave us? I'm going to show you what that baby does. Yeah, uh, what that, uh, chicken drumstick does, as, uh, weird as it may seem, it actually turns any enemy in the game, or nearly every enemy except for flying enemies, it turns nearly every enemy in the game into a roast chicken and that roast chicken will actually give you some health so that actually will be a, a very good little tool or weapon whatever to use throughout the game so yeah who would have thought I tell you who would think the power of a magical chicken drumstick I tell you magical indeed hey you ugly thing I don't know what you are. I don't know if you're a girl or a boy or what you are. You're ugly, that's all I know. Alright, so we need a moon room for that. And the thing about this broadsword um, is that you see it says 0% up there on the corner. Actually, it can be sharpened. But it will gradually dull off even when you're not using it. So, I can, uh, for a fee, I can get it sharpened. But you want to use it sparingly. So, when you're not using it, if I could talk to you, I need more crossbow bolts as well. So, let's, uh, sharpen our sword and let's get some more crossbow. Because we will need it. We will need it in particular for this level. Alright, so now I want to get it off my sword because, say, it already went down to 95%. And uh, you don't really want it to wear down. The hammer works well enough on the, on all the enemies in this level. Alright, so here, as you may expect, you will want to use... Um, you will want to use ranged weapons. So you want to go on to this other side, and then you want to get that imp inside it. Evil imp. Yeah, pretty easy to take down. No big deal at all. Now, those scarecrows, here in a minute, I'm going to show you just how hard they are to kill. Because I tell you, y'all, those scarecrows, they don't play. The chicken drumstick comes in handy big time. But I wouldn't use... I would not use all my chicken drumsticks up because you won't want to save them for later. You will definitely want to save a lot of them for later. I wouldn't use more than 10 in this level. Because uh, that drumstick for a level later in the game that is arguably the most difficult. I've heard a lot of people say it was the most difficult. I don't really agree, but... Um, it is definitely difficult, and the chicken drumstick comes in big handy. So we need to recharge our health here, rejuvenate ourselves. Uh, you know there's a scarecrow nearby when you see crows. Kill a crow with a hammer. That's like overkill, isn't it? Alright, now here's a scarecrow. Alright. Here we go. Now look how much health they take. M 
And uh, you saw how much they took. They take a beating, y'all. They take a beating. Now, I'm going to try the broadsword on this one. See if it works much better than the hammer. Yeah, broadsword works very well when it's charged up. If it's on 0%, it won't do too hot. But if it's got some charge, it does very well. So, yeah, you might want to service your sword up and then... uh. Those scarecrows, they won't stand much of a chance. I really should have used my shield on that. Instead of getting killed like a dummy. Die. Die, you ugly imp. I don't like you. Alright, and we immediately get the chaos room that we need. So we are ready to roll. Now here's where this level gets really interesting. I right, don't want to mess with them scarecrows yet. What does this say here? Oh, Cool Katara the Serpent Lord yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zarek and sealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful ally. So indeed, um, there actually is some help in this level and you do want to free him as soon as you can because he will greatly help you uh, this snake right here is actually a good snake uh, now yeah he kills those scarecrows immediately those scarecrows stand no chance with him oh just money that wasn't hardly worth dying over yeah, you do not want to linger in the corn. That corn will kill you. Will kill you immediately. Come on, cool Katera, my buddy. I got a scarecrow over here for you. Oh, yes, he kills him immediately. So, yeah, if you just think the scarecrows are unbearable, fret not because uh, good old cool Katera here will help you out. And I didn't know. Okay, he's still with me. He will go away after a while, though, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, nothing over there. But you could actually use your club and set them on fire, but really, there's no point in that. Now, uh, there are windmills and all kinds of technological things in this level. Uh, another scarecrow, and I don't have cool Katura anymore. But my sword works just fine. And I'm already ready to collect a chalice. Now this level, one thing that made it so difficult for me, besides the scarecrows, the first time I ever played, was you have all of these contraptions and stuff to contend with. And uh, they can really cause you to lose a lot of health. I'm not even going to go for that one yet. Because there's actually another one coming up that's out of the way. You can use little strategies like that to really help you. you kind of take your time in this. If you rush, you will lose a lot of health, as you may imagine. Now, right here is the tricky one. Because there is a, a part we need over here. Yep, you have to get that part. The exit to the level is actually right there. But, yeah, because you see Zarek's green icky glow but we don't want to go there yet because of course we want the chalice you want all the chalices right I hope you do all right ah all right still not gonna get that yet I tell you what this level is not as hard as I remember it being of course if you know the little tricks that I showed you it's not too bad at all I'm gonna get killed yeah, see, it takes a lot of health, and if that smashes you, you can kiss a whole life bottle goodbye. You're uh, completely dead. Oh, as you may imagine, becoming completely smashed. Oh, man, I am taking a beating. Whew. All right. I tell you, that's what happens when you rush. All right, now that we got that harvester part, though, well, y'all guys just please go away and die and stay away forever and die and... Ah. Alright. So 
So after, after, after you get that part, after you go all the way to the end of the level and get that part, you have to come all the way back here. Get rid of these stupid bats. Ugh. Come here, bats. Come here, bat. Yes. Alright, and you can read this. It'll tell you, oh, this thing hadn't been used in years. The corn cutting machine missing the part. Hadn't used since. Yep. So we need that baby to be back in commission. Alright, so we need to bring it down to the floor so we can work on it. Because, yeah, didn't you know Sir Dan was a mechanic? Among all things, he's also a mechanic. All right, get us another copper shield. Alright, now let's use that good old part that we found. Oh, I, I guess that thing doesn't have an on and off switch, or, or I guess Sir Dan just turned it on automatically. Alright, because it just went away. And uh, it must have just ran it. Where did it go? Because it just went straight here. You know, the first time I did this level, I was like, oh, the corn cutting machine. That means I can just... That means I can just cut through this whole, you know, cut all the corn down. But actually, all disappointingly, all it does is cuts down that one strip. But, at least you can get to the chalice. Can't complain about that. And we get another life ball. Oh my goodness. Yep, those are indeed some goodies. So, let's go ahead and get more crossbow. Alright, now. Well, my friends, once you get the chalice, we are ready to get on out of here. So, let's get on out of here, eh? Fun as this place has been. Alright, I don't need to fight you. I just want to get out of here. Alright, run, run, run. Alright. Getting through that one the first time is a lot easier. Uh, and I didn't lose any health. I tell you, I'm just plumb off the man. That's the easiest of the machinery. This one I hate because you have to take your time on this one. You can rush, but until you're getting your head scraped, even even when you don't have skin and muscle and stuff on it, still hurts. Isn't that right, Sir Dan? You can testify to that. All right, let's go ahead and put on our copper sh copper shield because I got rid of my silver. And what do you have to say? Yeah, I'm gonna hit you because you're mean to me. Actually, I'd like to talk to you. Fine, don't talk to me. Be that way. Pumpkin gourds, dead ahead. The nursery to Galomir's favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. Uh-oh. So that gives a whole new meaning to fruit gone bad, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm excited about that. I don't know about y'all. So we are entering pumpkin territory. After the Hall of Heroes, of course. Hall of Heroes, our favorite, favorite place. Aw, oh, what do you have to say now? Gaining allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. I can. Still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Oh, shut up. I know I have a long way to go, but at least you understand that I am something. At least you better understand it. All right, what do you have to say, dude? Main dude. By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of I'll get on with it. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to do anything for me. All right, I'll take it. Money. Well, we can use that. We've already spent quite a bit of money. So now we can spend even more. All right. 
All right, so y'all, let's head on towards the pumpkin gorge. It's dead ahead.